This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Welcome to the Fall Ish TV preview. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, this time of year, the TV networks would be trumpeting their new fall shows, and TV magazines, remember them, would be laying out all the details. The machine of producing TV would have been running for months to get ready for it. Well, this will not be a regular year, with TV production just now making tentative moves to restart, and uncertain if it will be able to continue, there's very little in the queue to broadcast. The networks are scrambling to put something on the air. Let's take a look. ABC. If you've been watching ABC lately, you've seen a lot of promos ending with coming soon to day of the week. This gives them leeway while things get somewhat up to speed. Meanwhile, it's going to be a lot of reality and game shows, both of which either shot before COVID or have taken some sort of precautions. Starting on Sunday, all times are Eastern. 7 p.m. America's Funniest Home Videos, which is, of course, easy to shoot in a restricted studio. 8 p.m., Supermarket Sweep, an 80s reboot with SNL's Leslie Jones hosting. 9 p.m., Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? 10 p.m., Card Sharks. So oh. it's all game shows. On Monday at 8, it's Dancing with the Stars. New host Tyra Banks will oversee an uncertain and restricted competition. Dancing pros and stars will have to be quarantined. On Tuesday, 8 p.m., The Bachelorette. Wednesday, who knows? To be announced? Thursday, 8 p.m., Celebrity Family Feud. 9 p.m., Press Your Luck. 10 p.m., Match Game. The Summer Games lineup rolls on. Will they be reruns? On Friday at 8, we have Shark Tank. I assume the remainder of the schedule will be a lot of 2020 and what would you do? Moving to CBS. After grand plans were posted in May saying all would go as normal, CBS will go the route of It's New to You along with lots of reality. On Sunday, 7 is 60 minutes, 8 p.m. is Big Brother, and 9 p.m. is Love Island. On Monday, 9 p.m., one day at a time, the Netflix, then pop streaming series moves to CBS, weirdly starting with the fourth season. Hmm. I don't get that, because if you haven't watched the other three seasons, which I... <laughs> Are they planning to make more then? Or? I presume. Because it didn't last much longer than the fourth no, season, did it? I don't think so. That's weird. At 10 p.m., Manhunt Deadly Games, a Spectrum original series snapped up by the network. On Tuesday at 10 p.m., the FBI unclassified. On Wednesday, 8 p.m., Big Brother, 9 p.m., The Amazing Race. Uh, now, on The Amazing Race, I think they were filming that, and then they had to stop, right. and it's, they can't it, restart it. It's probably so. going to be Best of The Amazing Race. Because <laughs> no one from the U.S. can go anywhere. Right. <laughs> it's The Amazing, amazing race. race, Saginaw. Yeah. <laughs> on Thursday, we have, um, at 8, Big Brother, at 9 p.m., Love Island, and at 10 p.m., Star Trek Discovery. The first season of the CBS All Access series comes out from behind the paywall. On Friday, 8 p.m., the greatest at-home videos. This one-time experiment from the spring gets a full run. And at 9 p.m., Undercover Boss. The rest, assumedly, will be 48 hours and lots of reruns. On the CW, America's source for teen soaps and superheroes, made the call early to just push everything back to 2021. Like CBS, partly owned by them, so it makes sense, they are going with new-to-you stuff, along with shows already in the can. Starting on Sunday, 8 p.m., Pandora. I guess there's an existing series called Pandora. <laughs> I'd never heard of it. On Monday, uh, at 8 p.m., the iHeart Radio Music Festival. On Tuesday, 8 p.m., Swamp Things. DC Universe's failed Supernatural series comes over to broadcast TV. Then at 9 p.m., Tell Me a Story, which was originally a CBS All Access series. On Wednesday at 8 p.m., Devils, an Italian series. We're not sure if it will be subtitled or dubbed. And at 9 p.m., Coroner, a Canadian drama. On Thursday, 8 p.m., Supernatural. The already canceled series never got a chance to complete their run prior to COVID, so they will finish it up this fall, which will allow the Winchester boys to collect their social security. And 9 p.m., The Outpost. 
Soldier, sorceress, hero. Huh? I'm not very serious. It's been on the CW. This is not like a new series. <laughs> <laughs> Some things we don't watch. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> On Friday at 8 p.m., Masters of Illusion, and at uh, 9 p.m., The World's Funniest Animals. Well, moving over to Fox. Without a home studio after the Disney merger, Fox was already depending on a lot of sports. Now they've picked up some new-to-you shows and reality, along with mid-season replacements that got pushed back. On Sunday at 8 p.m., of course, is The Simpsons. At 8.30 p.m., Bless the Heart. 9 p.m. Bob's Burgers, 9.30 p.m. Family Guy, the animated block. Right now, every animated show proposal is rushing into production since they can avoid COVID issues. On Monday, 8 p.m., L.A.'s Finest, another Spectrum original, moves to broadcast TV. 9 p.m., Next. Originally a mid-season entry, the show was pushed back to put something on the fall schedule. It's a sci-fi thriller starring John Slattery involving a cybersecurity team. On Tuesday at 8 p.m., Cosmos Possible Worlds, shown on Nat Geo this spring. At 9 p.m., Filthy Rich, another pushback from the midseason. Kim Cattrall stars in a serialized satirical drama based on a New Zealand show. Kim Cattrall, Kim Cattrall. Kim, 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 Kim Cattrall. <laughs> Wednesday at 8 p.m., The Masked Singer. At 9 p.m., Master Chef Junior. On Thursday, NFL football, football, football. Friday. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. And on Saturday, college football, maybe football, football. <laughs> and then over on NBC, the Peacock Network is basically kicking the can down the street, hoping things get back to normal by November, which seems very optimistic. Meanwhile, on Sunday, football. On Monday, 8 p.m., American Ninja Warrior. And at 10 p.m., The Weakest Link. On Tuesday, 8 p.m., Ellen's Game of Games. You can play her game, just don't work for her. At 10 p.m., Transplant, another Canadian series. On Wednesday, frantically tap dancing until November. Da, 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 da. Thursday at 8 p.m., Superstore. 8.30 p.m., Connecting, a COVID sitcom based on video chats. Friday. Expect Dateline to fill in the cracks. So... While you're not watching all this TV, <laughs> yeah. you could listen to our audio podcast, How I Got My <laughs> Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Go read a book. Yeah. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. <laughs>